But I do want you to take a look at these pictures right here. Now, these are up in the North Dallas, Addison area. Carol Patton uh, texted me these or uh, emailed them to me. These are the budding mesquite trees. Remember the ones I talked about uh, last week? Uh, you know, the, the Texas lore has it when the mesquite trees start to bud out, then we won't have any more freezes. Well, we're going to see, Carol, if those there in North Dallas and Addison, if that's the case, because they're definitely budding out. They're definitely greening up right now all across uh, not only Dallas, Fort Worth, but all across North Texas. But that's the way it looks right now. We'll see if Texas lower holds, because right now, our last freeze. The last time we had a freeze, it's been a while. February 18th, we dropped to 30 degrees. The average last one, I've been mentioning this, the average last one was March 12. So far this season, we've had 20. To date, we should average 29. But the latest last freeze we've ever had, the latest last freeze on record, and records go all the way back to 1898, is April 13. So we still have about a month to go before we start breaking records. So it's not unheard of. And Saturday morning, uh, Friday morning, Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and Monday morning, we're going to have 30s across parts of North Texas. That's, those are my forecast lows for those four mornings are in the 30s. But Saturday morning and Sunday morning, a little colder than 38 or 39. So I do see a freeze most likely Saturday morning up along the Red River. It's possible in Dallas-Fort Worth. I think it's less likely areas to the south. And then Sunday morning, this is the more likely area for a freeze. And that includes Decatur. That includes you in Denton, also in McKinney to Greenville to Sulphur Springs and north to the Red River. I can't rule it out in Dallas-Fort worth it's certainly possible and then I think it's not very likely to the south but yeah we're not finished with some cold temperatures just yet right now we have clouds across the area the clouds will continue to thin out tonight I don't have any rain out there we had some sprinkles earlier today this is seven o'clock tomorrow morning we'll have uh, uh, mostly clear skies then we cloud up as we head through the afternoon so pretty decent morning not a bad afternoon we're dry tomorrow tomorrow night we're still dry watch this Seven in the morning, Thursday, some sprinkles. Thursday's our potential severe weather day. That's Thursday at noon. Look at these thunderstorms. Those are marginally, potentially marginally severe about noon on Thursday. That then moves into East Texas. These certainly could be severe by 3 p.m. Thursday afternoon. Now watch what develops back to the west that moves into the Dallas-Fort Worth area. The East Texas stuff moves out. Watch this. There's 5 o'clock. These little thunderstorms could pretty quickly turn severe at 5 p.m. Thursday. There's 6 p.m. These could certainly be severe at 6 p.m. And then at 7 p.m., this line east of the Metroplex now, this line at 7 o'clock could be severe, and then it pushes off into east Texas and southeast Texas as some severe thunderstorms. But the cold front moves through at 7 p.m. Thursday. Once the front's through, your severe weather threat has ended, and then we're just left with clouds and Pretty cold temps. Wait until you see the highs on Friday. There's our severe weather threat on uh, Thursday. It's a slight risk. Large hail, quarter, maybe up the golf ball size hail, 60 to 70 mile per hour winds, and maybe even the threat of a, an isolated tornado or two. About 80% of us see rain. Those that see rain, lighter amounts in Fort Worth, west of Fort Worth, an inch, quarter of an inch to a half an inch. Uh, the heart of North Texas, East Texas could pick up a half an inch to an inch. And all that's in the forecast. We dropped the 44 for the low tonight. Tomorrow we hit 68. Sunshine in the morning, clouds move in in the afternoon, a windy day tomorrow, winds up to 30, a warmer day than today. Today we hit 62. 80% of us see rain on Thursday. There's the big cool down on Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, highs only in the 50s, but look at the lows. Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning in the 30s, so no doubt some locations in North Texas will see a freeze. Uh, right now, I don't have a freeze in Dallas or Fort Worth proper, but certainly areas within the Metroplex could see, see a freeze on Saturday morning and Sunday morning.